In this video, I'll go over the process of creating a lead inside of the Sales Hub app of Dynamic 365. Some of the videos that exist out there as part of training are based on the old user interface of Sales Hub. So this here helps demonstrate the same functionality in the latest version of Sales Hub. There are various ways of creating leads, such as manually, importing leads or converting them from other records, but in this video, we'll focus on manually creating the lead. As a salesperson or account executive, you sometimes have to quickly create a lead in the system, whether because you're talking to someone on the phone or someone is reaching out to you about potential business and you want to enter them in the system so that you can go through some sort of qualification process. The easiest way to do this is from the sales hub. By navigating through leads, you will see the button that says new. Clicking on this button will open a new lead from where you can start entering the details. When you're creating a new lead, really the only thing that you need to initially know is the topic or the reason of, of creating the lead. In this case, I'll enter interested in the company's products. The remainder of the information is here to help the salesperson or account executive with the research to determine if the lead should be qualified to do business with the company or should it be disqualified. Let's go ahead and enter some information about the business or the lead. Now that we've finished entering that information, we can go ahead and create the lead. We can also provide the lead source, which is available on the top of the form, and select how we got or how we connected to this customer. In this case, I will mention a trade show. There is some additional information that we can provide, such as the industry, the annual revenue of the business, and the number of employees. This is again helpful to the salespeople or account executive to help them understand additional information about the business and determine if this is something that they would like pursuing. Once all of the information has been entered, we can go ahead and click save or save and close and go back to the list of my open leads that we have logged on. And in here, we'll be able to see the new lead that we created.